Welcome back. I literally have no idea how to start today's vlog because today I'm going to be sharing a story with you. I was not supposed to do anything today but then last night I realized that today is 5th of May and 5th of May is extremely special for me. Reason being 10 years back in 2007 I joined Qatar Airways as a cabin crew which was my first and the only job which I've done till now. Now most of you already know that I was a hotel management student. In case you don't know, I was a hotel management student. But then what most of you don't know is that I never even cleared my first year. Yes, I failed in my first year itself. Yes, I'm not a graduate. Uh, later, I had a panga with my vice principal because he said something about my parents wasting money on me. Uh, he almost restricted me from the college. Later, I went into complete depression. While coming out from the depression, I gave interview for Jet Airways and Qatar Airways. And guess what? I was selected in both the airlines, Jet Airways and Qatar Airways. Jet Airways was giving me Chennai base and Qatar Airways was giving me Doha base. Obviously, I picked Qatar Airways because international base, more salary and Qatar Airways. Hey guys, this is the place where we stay. Mansura. This is our building. It's brand new. That's our car. And this is our pickup. This is our security for our security safety. This lift. This is the lift. And see, we stay on the second floor. Second, second floor. This is me. And this is Nikhil this inside is the Nikhil. lift. And now we will be entering our house. And our the flat house. number is 11. And house. this is a house. Yeah. The one and only sports bike in Qatar. <laughs> this, is, this is Nikhil's laptop. This is our living room. This is our, this is our 29 inch plasma TV. Some souvenirs. Souvenirs from, from Malaysia. Malaysia. And I bought. Yeah. Nikhil goes every month to Malaysia. Come on, follow us, guys. Follow us. Come on, come on. I'll show you the kitchen. Come this on, the guys. Kitchen. This is our kitchen. This is our fridge. This is Nikhil's room. Privacy, please. But now we are entering his room. Dirty room. So, Dirty this room. is our Nikhil builder's <laughs> equipment where he does his workout. See. Work in progress. Work, Work in, in progress. progress. So, the name is also written. This was the video from Nikhil and Sanket. Okay, I hope you all have enjoyed it. Bye bye. Take care. Watermelon, anyone? It's very good to eat watermelon. When it's hot outside, and it's really hot in Mumbai. Now, I was there in Qatar Airways for six years, and trust me on that, Qatar Airways changed my entire life. I learned so many things from Qatar Airways, which I will talk about in the future vlogs. For now, I'll keep it short. Uh, I made four good friends Prati Kokhani, Sanket Mohile, Sean Saldana. Uh, they, three of them are still in Qatar Airways, and Rizwan Sheikh. Rizwan Sheikh was like a brother to me. He lives in Mumbai. I've never taken him in the vlogs because we don't really meet often because he's busy, I'm busy. If you have seen my first video, first ever video uploaded on this channel, if you will just go back, the first video I ever shot was with him. He was riding his Harley and I was sitting behind him. So probably I will meet him soon and I will take him in the vlogs because he's one of those special person in my life. Now what do we learn from this that God or life will always give you at least one opportunity by which you can change your entire life. If I would have not given those interviews, Jet Davis or Qatar Davis, I would not be standing over here guys. I was a very shy person. Just because I was there in Qatar Davis for six years, my personality was completely changed because you know, you'll get your personality development training and all and then you'll serve big, big people. You'll talk to big, big people, different, different. Like, actually, I, Qatar Davis has cabin crew from I think 80 different country. So you'll interact with them. You'll develop your own personality. You'll understand the human nature probably because of that 
I understand you guys. I understand. I know how to talk to a camera. I know how to handle an audience. Just because I was there in Kadayave. Moral of the story: Don't give up. Never lose hope. You never know what life has to offer you next. I know probably some of you must be experiencing the deepest shit of your life. Trust me on that. It will pass. Just be strong and be ready for everything. And always remember: Work your ass off in everything. Ask me later. Na kafi lecture. Let's talk about my case for a minute. Initially, when I started uploading YouTube videos, I used to upload videos like first impression of a motorcycle review videos. Later on, I did riding videos without vlogs, and I started vlogging while riding. Then I went into lifestyle vlogs and travel vlogs. Now, each time I did the transition from the review videos to the riding videos to the riding vlogs to the travel vlogs to the lifestyle vlogs, I was hated, I was judged, I was criticized. But then I never stopped. You know why I never stopped? Because majority of you guys always supported me, and I was loving what I was doing. I was enjoying the feeling that I'm gonna be sharing my story to the world. This is what's keeping me going, and here I am today, happy. <laughs> Okay guys so I will just end the vlog over here because I'm not really keeping well so thank you for watching this video guys as always shukran alvida ma salama take care and do whatever you want my lovely friends bye bye i know vlog thoda short tha but i'll try to make a longer vlog next time bye bye